Good morning everybody. This is day two of our Big Bend trip and we are headed off to Emory Peak. We had to take a little break, change out the headwear, keep the sweat out of my eyes, drop a layer. We just came to the realization that his, he his headlamp is hanging upside down over the picnic table. My headlamp is in the tent. And where's the lantern? In the car. In the car. <laughs> yeah. That's Parker style for sure. We're still climbing and we're a long way from the top. This is magnificent, it's pretty awesome. I'm so glad we decided to come here. How do you feel? Well, I feel like What's she eating? A waffle. <laughs> what flavor? Ginger snap. It's really good. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. I agree. You want a bite? You want a bite? I do. You can actually get that stuff along with pretty much everything I'm wearing. You can get that from Backwoods. Come see me. I'll help you figure it out. For sure after I get this hike on. There's a restaurant in Bee Cave <laughs> called Chiso's Bar and Grill, and that's their logo, that mountain right there. So that's kind of cool. I do believe that where we're going, somewhere up there. Yeah, just so you know. <laughs> Ugh. Pro hint, I have to do that twice to get that shot, so, whew, burn an extra few calories just for you. Let's go see how, how much fun we can have while suffering immense amounts of pain and agony and stress. No, it's not that bad. It's actually quite beautiful and it's quite peaceful out here. But if you uh, don't eat well before you go out, don't pack plenty of water, you're in for a bumpy, bumpy ride, my friend. 
So always prepare for this, but don't pack too heavy. This is tiring, but we're we're at a stop. We can take a break. All right, all right. We're gonna take a break. What most people usually do is they stash their bags in that bear box over there, and then they take the hike backpackless, so it's a little easier. It's just over a mile. Don't let the look on my face fool you. I'm pretty exhausted. You see tiny little people up there. That's where we're going. It uh, it appears that it's going to get really steep towards the, the tail stretch, so we got to get our energy preserved for that. Nice and hydrated. And mentally mentally focused. Yeah, this is a good break area. <sighs> Took a little fear break. Get over our fears. We're going to continue going up. Come down the same path he went up. <laughs> we'll do. I just, oof. He just cross country did. Yeah, I don't do that. Okay. <laughs> but good to know. Hey man, be safe getting down. Path, man. It's not bad at all. Rock and roll. Thank you. Enjoy. Well, the trail has suddenly converted itself into this, and it just started drizzling on us. your pack. I just want to go up wherever we're going. Okay, well we went up, explored one side of this top of this peak, but we're gonna go now back that way and try to go the correct path and see how close we can get to the very top. I know Melody's getting a little shaken up with the elevation up here. It's understandable. Don't let the don't let the tears in her face fool you. She is she is uh, enjoying herself, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> Just really testing it right now. I'm super proud of us. Don't let this fool you. <laughs> Some of us have to fight our fears. Some of us are fearless. It is so worth it though. I'm gonna go and see if I can get a little bit closer look up there. This is very scary. I will have you know, if you've never been to the highest point at Big Bend, that's it. Say hi to Melody, she's down there. Hello. <laughs> I love my husband. She loves her husband. That's all I got to work with right there. That ledge. Campground, Chiso's Basin. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful landscape out here. It's amazing. It's unforgiving. But it's totally worth a visit.
in there. I guess this is their radio towers. I have reached the top of Embry Peak. Woo! You got the solar panel here. 360 degree panoramic view of the desert. This was such a worthwhile experience to make it up here. Melody's only about 30 feet below me. That's okay. She did what she came to do, and that was to push herself and see the world. And we are looking at the world. I can see our tent. Let's just say U.S. Coast Guard Geod Geodic Survey. For those of you who are uh, not familiar with us, we are state parkers, though we're not limited to state parks. We will hit a national park if we have the resources to do so, as we do now. We have had uh, two wonderful days here. We've got three more to go. I just want to thank my parents for putting me in Taekwondo for years when I was a kid. That's the only thing keeping me balanced and able because you can see my foot is right on the edge of that rock. That was probably one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. I'm going nearly straight down here, so slightly different way than I came up. Yeah, he did tell me not to do that, didn't he? I do work in a, in a store that sells climbing gear. I guess it's a good idea to have some climbing under my belt. Steep up there. Yes. Hope you brought your uh, courage. It's good. Right on, man. You yeah. Bye. You guys having fun? Absolutely. Great time. Awesome. there see that long strip of trail we gotta wind through this and get to that before we can go back around the other side of that mountain and go on down into the basin Point two three miles total distance, an average speed of two point seven, moving time three three hours two twenty two minutes, stopped for four hours. Understandable. Right now we're at fifty three hundred feet. Up there we were at seventy eight. Woo! We are tired, so we're gonna get on back to the campsite and see what's next. <laughs> 